What's up guys? Um, just messing around with this subwoofer here a little bit. Watching you guys comment on the on the posts here on Brad's pictures and stuff. Um, here you go Mr. Thomas Collins. GPI for the win buddy. Uh, anyways, just going to throw this camera over here real quick while I'm doing what I'm doing. So you can see. I got my 18 inch DD3500 series here. I gutted it and pulled the coil out of it. I never showed you guys that the other day, but this thing, I cooked the coil so bad I was peeling pieces of the coil off because it's melted and burnt. The stainless steel is literally burnt and like peeling off. That's pretty awesome. I never melted a subwoofer that bad. Well, I did. I had an 8500 series MTX. I killed this bad one time. It wasn't three inch, I don't think. Oh, I think that was two and a half. I don't remember. Anyways, right now I'm just kind of scoring the inside of this old 18's cone uh, because I'm going to stick my 12 inch cone inside the 18. I mean, what the heck, you know? Like that one guy was saying on there, 12 fits inside an 18 pretty good. We're about to see. You guys are seeing, I just got my pocket knife out. I'm taking it and I'm hacking away at this old DD 18 inch cone. I set my 12 inch cone inside of it and I marked it. I got this 12 inch cone and aluminum and copper voice coil assembly sitting over here in my chair that came out of my MA Hardcore and the suspension. Uh, one of the suspensions, it's got dual suspensions on it, and one of the suspensions ripped free from the coil at one time. Luckily, it was not the one that houses the wires. For the leads for the voice coil so it still worked but the coil was starting to rub on the sides of the magnet so i pulled it apart checked it out found the problem epoxied it fixed it just never reassembled it I'll show you here in a second oh. so here's the old old suspension and the, the ma hardcore coil or cone and voice coil uh, it's three inch copper and aluminum. The one that I took out of here was a uh, copper over stainless. It had stainless steel. So as you can see I got epoxy here on this piece of suspension because it had ripped that free from the coil. Well that's fixed now with really good epoxy and it's not coming loose again. Not unless it rips on the up front side of the epoxy. And the only reason it ripped is because I had too much excursion because I had too big of a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a house subwoofer out of this for my home theater. Or if it works good enough, who knows, maybe I'll try it in a car. But it's definitely going to go in a box and it's definitely going to work again, for sure. I uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about gluing it on here. I think I might just use super glue, Loctite crazy glue I think is what I'm going to use for it actually. Uh, stuff seems to work pretty good on everything I've used it on so far. There we go, I got a hole in my 18 inch cone. Set that on top of there. Oh, that maybe used to get some serious excursion when it worked back in the day. Take my 12 inch. <laughs> Fits right in there and works, but yeah. I gotta get the suspension glued down first. That'll work. I can even stick my DD cone on it if I want. Look at that, guys. What was that? Just a few minutes? About four minutes so far. And I've almost got me a hybrid 12 inch, 18 inch subwoofer. Uh, obviously, I'm still going to have to do some some work to get, her, get the old suspension out of there and get the new suspension glued in and stuff like that so that it'll, still, it'll actually go together and work. But look at that. That guy was right. A 12 inch suspension fits inside of an 18 inch cone pretty darn good so as i go along here i'll take some more pictures of it and stuff for you uh so you can get a better view that the suspension and stuff on this 12 actually does work in this basket it'll bolt right in there or glue in there or whatever the bolt holes line up and everything i just got to dig the old suspension out of there and stuff from that 18 so I'm going to do it. What the heck? I know it'll work. It'll bolt in there. 
Holy cow, look at that. That's a lot. Of, it'll it'll have a lot of excursion too, by God. I think I will go ahead and when I put it together, I'll paint it all black and then I'll I'll glue the DD cap on there and it'll be my hybrid DD 12 inch, 18 inch monstrosity mobile. Awesome. How you like my custom sub, guys? <laughs>